Ezekiel 18, 25. The Lord says through the prophet Ezekiel, he says, and yet you say, the Lord is unjust. And then he says, is it I that am unjust? Is it not you that are unjust? And I've been pondering this, Ezekiel 18, 25, the Lord saying, you say that I am unjust. Is it I that am unjust? Is it not you that is unjust? And you know, I think of crying out to God, God, where are you? God, where were you? I look at the news, I look at the hurt, I look at the young people, I look at the abuse, and, and, and I shake my fist, and I'm saying, God, where are you? With the psalmist, Psalm 10, 1, he says, Why, Lord, do you run and hide yourself in times of trouble? Why do you stand far off? And even God, he gives us the license to have those feelings and to cry out. But let me tell you something. The ways of God are beyond our ways. They just are. Uh, Romans 11, 33 to 36. Oh, the depths of the riches of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. So Psalm 10, 1, God lets us feel and cry out to him and say, God, where are you? Where were you? God gives us the words so that the psalmist says, why do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? I mean, God even gives us the words to express our hurt, our disappointment, our anger at when we feel God should be here preventing evil. But then in Ezekiel 18, 25, we have God putting it to us a little bit, going, look, you say I'm unjust. You're saying, where is God? Is it not you who is unjust? Now, let me tell you, when I look at the news, and I might say, where was God? Here's one thing I know for certain. I know where man was. I know where mankind was. In every disaster that disturbs my heart, my mind, mankind is always right in the mix. There is blood on his hands. So I might question, God, where were you? But I never question where was mankind in this because man is always in the very dead center of everything evil that disturbs us. Man is there. You are there. I am there. It is us that are unjust. That we know for certain. So if we say, God, where are you? We don't know. We don't know how God's judgments work, but we know where man was. There is blood on man's hands in everything evil in this broken world. And I just want to say, at some point, we have to listen to God's interpretation about what's going on. We can be angry at God. He even gives us the words to do it. But we have to also listen and heed. And God is telling us through his word, start to finish, that in the heart of man there's brokenness. In the heart of man there is sin. In the heart of man there is selfishness. And God has come to restore purity, holiness, healing, and salvation to the heart of man. And it is God's way. He breathed himself into Jesus Christ. He bore our sins on the cross, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, and he extends his hands to us. John 5, 24, and he says, Believe in me, and you will cross over from death to life. So listen, you know, in our wrestling with God and where was he as a protector, that's okay. But we have got to, at some point, listen to God and go, you know what? My heart is full of sin. My heart needs healing. Wherever and whatever about God in this situation, I know where I am in this situation. I'm in the heart of the darkness and I need salvation. And in that moment, I encourage you, call out to Jesus. Call out to him for his forgiveness, for his healing. He says in Isaiah 118, he will take our stains and make us white as snow. God bless you.